Stress is best, and for me, it's not for me to assess, it's for the people to assess. But I'm only going to talk on what I want to do for the people. There is something on development. The constituency is quite small. I feel that whoever is representing the constituency, if it does well, will be able to bring in more development. And uh, we should be able to look at the youth very well, because they are the immediate future of our community. We should be seen to be models to them and then try to help them in whatever way possible because these social issues are on the increase. We should and, uh, try to ensure that more of them get jobs and we also, also, also encourage uh, them owning their own businesses and where they could be, be sources of employment to other people. I want to look at that, I want to look at development, I want to look at education and of course security. Security of the people is key to any progress or development we are talking about. So security must be addressed. I'm very sad that the people who are contesting, very few the youth are seen to be contesting. And yet the bill of, uh, for, you know, not too young to, 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 to rule is passed. And yet the youth are not there to even uh, participate in, in, in the contest. That's where I'm going. Okay. I feel if they can can give forms to women free, the youth should be given the chance so that they can have the opportunity to contest. They should either make the forms or across parties, make the forms free or at least a minimal amount that they will be able to afford so that they will be able to showcase their own, uh, uh, you know, leadership abilities. But I have some problem with the youth. The same youth, you see, gathering money, money they say they don't have. Bringing money together to buy phone for the older politician. Buying phone for somebody running for governorship. You see, you don't have money. You see, the youth are seen to be used. They are not focused. But permit me to say here that it's not all the youth. They are very good focused youth. But majority, once money comes in, they are divided. They run for money, they want to also get uh, quick riches and all that. They don't want to do that sacrifice, which some of us are doing. I resigned my work some eight years ago on this. I had a very good job with the federal government. I left that job. That is part of the sacrifice. I have suffered for almost eight years. I'm not giving up because I have, I'm focused. The youth must be focused, ready to take any kind of pain to be able to get where they it, it, it is not given on the platter of gold. They must do something about it. Well, uh, my last word is that delegates come out. Vote for the person your people are telling you to vote for. Vote for your conscience. Don't vote for money. If any bring, anybody brings money, take the money, but give the vote to the right place where good leadership and where there is hope for tomorrow. Uh, it is because it is politics. I'm not supposed to sing my praise. But politics uh, is saying sing your praise. That's why I'm doing it. But if you were to interview other people in my constituency, they will tell you. And that is why I think generality of the people in my place are saying give now Allah a chance. And that is why I believe strongly that I will, be, I will not fail them by the grace of God. I have already, I have a mindset that when people get there, they do different. I am already prepared for it, that I will make the whole difference. So I call on all of them to give me a chance, vote me and try me and see whether I'm just a storyteller like other people.